what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides, and I am at the Tampa Bay International New Car Show here at the Tampa Bay Convention Center, walking around, and I decided to make a pit stop at the Toyota section because there's a lot of great stuff happening. Here is a 2019 Toyota 86. So if you don't know the whole story about the 86, Toyota worked with Subaru to combine together to form a new real-wheel drive performance car, something that was fun, something that was affordable, and for the past few years, you know, I think a lot of people have been waiting for more power, but one thing that they keep bringing in spades is definitely the styling and definitely that overall fun experience driving it. So let's go ahead and check out the front of the 86. Now remember, this used to be a Scion. Scion is no longer a brand, so they brought it into the Toyota fold as the 86. I really like the direction that they've gone with the styling. To be honest with you, as the FRS, I didn't really like it. I always liked the BRZ better, and I've told you that plenty of times in my BRZ reviews. But you can see with the front of the 86, you have the same style headlights, but where you're gonna go different compared to the BRZ is this whole front fascia. So there's a very large fake vent, and I think this is one of the things that I'm gonna have to zonk that has really turned me off to the front of the car. I feel like if that wasn't there, the rest of this would just be drop dead sexy. I do like what's going on in the front nose part, and I do like the opening down here for the lower grill area. Very aggressive. I would like to see an addition of some type of front lip spoiler down here just to add to the extra aggression. And I think that you would agree with me that the red on this car really, really works. That screams, uh, you know, sports car, real wheel drive. The biggest thing is what's underneath that hood. It's a little lacking, 205 horsepower. But like I said, agile as can be. Check out the side here. You can see uh, the Toyota 86 has a little bit different style wheel than the BRZ. I do like the dark gunmetal uh, gun gray finish. I like the brushed aluminum. They are using Michelin tires, which that's a great brand tire. Um, but like I said, I would like to maybe see a little bit larger wheel, a little bit more stylish wheel. I do like the 86 logo here. That's something that harks back to the 1980s with the original uh, 86s. And another thing that I actually do like, even though it's not functional, is I like this side grill area. I think if this wasn't here, it would, it would, it would be lost. It would be too much red. This really helps break it up. Just like the BRZ, same roof line, same doors. As we go to the back, that's where we're going to see some other differences. So. Wrapping around the back, you're gonna see that what they did with the BRZ, with the uh, 86 compared to the BRZ, is this little bit different shape of the rear trunk area. I do like the way they kept the same LED tail lights, and I do really like the rear diffuser down here. You got the dual exhaust, really pops. I've seen and, and heard people change the exhaust in these cars, and with that flat four engine underneath the hood, even though it's only producing 205 horsepower, it sounds really, really, really good. What I would like to see, zonk-wise, I would like to see a spoiler here. Some type of wings, nothing major, just something, just a little kick up to give it a little bit more. Let's go ahead and show you inside the trunk here. This is the trunk space inside the 86. Even though it's not very large opening, it is pretty deep. You could fold down those seats. This is a nice little touch here. The 86 logo and uh, embroidered into the back uh, mat area, very, very uh, nice touch. Let's go ahead and check underneath the hood and see that two liter flat four engine. Let's go check it out. All right, guys, here we are underneath the hood of the Toyota 86. It should look very familiar if you've seen my BRZ reviews because guess what? That is a Subaru flat four engine. They worked together. Toyota handled most of the frame and chassis work. Subaru took care of that boxer engine. The reason why they went boxer is because look, look at how low it sits in the chassis. I mean, here's the back firewall and you can see the distance from the top of the plenum to how high the firewall goes. That lets you know that how low this is sitting. And what's very interesting is check it out. Toyota and Subaru on the actual engine plenum. So they're not trying to hide it. They're not trying to fool you. That's what it is. What's wonderful is this one's gonna be mated to that slick shifting six speed transmission, very short throws. I like the engagement and we're gonna take a look at that when we get into the interior. But like I said, at the end of the day, you're not gonna win any drag racers against a Camaro or a Mustang, but on a tight, twisty road, this Toyota 86 is gonna be a dream to drive. Speaking of driving it, let's go ahead and check out the interior. All right, guys, we're inside the Toyota 86 2019. Probably my biggest zonk is gonna be these seats. I feel like the seats in the BRZ are much higher quality. Uh, this has like a cloth and Alcantara material. I like the leather and the Alcantara material in the BRZ, but look at the door panels. They did bring over that Alcantara and leather on the door panels, just like the BRZ. Also here on the 
Uh, part of the dash in front of the passenger, I'm sure Tom could show you the actual to Toyota logo and the 86 logo that's embroidered into the material on the dash. That's a nice touch. Other than that, you're going to get the same nice leather on the side and just overall a nice setup. Why don't you come on over here and I'll show you the driver's side end of the 86 business. All right, guys, here's the business end. You can see very similar to the BRZ, no surprise. I do like the 86 logo right here on the horn. I do like the way they kept it just the same as the BRZ by bringing the buttons inward. Everything else is super clear. Um, this one is an automatic, so you can see the metal paddle shifters here. That is a nice touch, and they are attached to the steering wheel, so some people don't like that, but they are a good size. Other than that, everything else is going to be same standard affair BRZ. These seats, I'm telling you, are not as comfortable as the BRZ. If I was in the market for one of these, I'd be walking over right now to Subaru and checking out the BRZ rather than going this 86 route. But I guess it's nice to have options, and for those who love the Toyota name, here it is for you. But anyways, if these are the types of cars that you like to see on Radies Rides, leave a comment in that comment section. If you have not hit subscribe yet, honestly, what are you waiting for? We have tons of videos every single day. If you are a subscriber, thank you. You know what it's all about. You know I love and in, enjoying the sharing of my enthusiasm with all of you. So thank you so much for being part of this and thank you for being part of the whole journey. If you haven't checked out my Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter pages, definitely want to check all those out. Radies Rides, all original content all the time. Get yourself some merch. We got hoodies, we got buttons, we got shirts, we got hats, bags. How do you do that? There was a button at the beginning of this video. Click on that, takes you to spread shirt. Buy and buy and buy and support Radies Rides. Thank you for promoting Radies Rides. We can't forget him, Tom Mosher, Big Guns McGee. You got to see all the attention he's getting here at the Tampa Bay Auto Show. People know who he is. People want to be who he is. So thank you, Tom, for all your support. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.